the last concept that we need to cover before talking about being friends with not Muslims is having your own identity. The Prophet peace and blessing be upon him was very strict with this concept. Having your own identity and being proud of it and never being just a follower or a copy like a sheep is something that we have to train ourselves on and I am one of you. Let's all learn from some highlights in the life of the Prophet. For example, the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him prohibited us from praying before sunrise and before sunset. So we wouldn't be like the disbelievers who are praying at these specific times. Having our own identity. When the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him was discussing with his friends the call for prayer, some of them recommended using a bell like the Christians or a horn like the Jews. Did he agree to be a copy? No. He ordered Bilal to do the call of prayers, the Adhan. Having our own identity. When the Muslims were praying in the same direction as the disbelievers from the people of the book, the Prophet raised his hand to the sky and prayed to God to change the direction of the prayer. And Allah accepted his dua and changed the Qibla to Al-Masjid Al-Haram in Mecca instead of Jerusalem. Again, having our own identity. The Prophet peace and blessing be upon him saw how people like to act and dress like the rich. The rich were making long clothes that touch the floor behind them while they are walking. Did the Prophet copy them? No. He was actually doing the exact opposite, right? Having our own identity. The Prophet ordered men to leave their beards and even prohibited haircuts like al qazah Again, having our own identity. Another example, the day of Ashura is a day that both Muslims and Jews fast to celebrate the Exodus. The Prophet ordered us to fast an extra day so that we would be different than the Jews. Having our own identity. When the Prophet peace and blessing be upon him was with the pagans in Mecca, he hanged down his hair to be different from the pagans. And then in Medina, he parted his hair to be different than the Jews. The Prophet peace and blessing be upon him said, لا تكونوا إما تقولون إن أحسن الناس أحسننا وإن ظلموا ظلمنا ولكن وطنوا أنفسكم إن أحسن الناس أن تحسنوا وإن أساءوا فلا تظلموا. Do not be imma, do not be without the will of your own, saying if people do good, we do good, if people do wrong, we will do wrong. No. Accustom yourselves to do good if people do good, and to not copy them if they do otherwise. I know that unfortunately, sadly, the majority of Muslims are okay with being humiliated by losing their identity and being just copies of whatever they see on screen. I am one of you, and I also got affected by that. We dress like them, we talk like them, we copy their immoralities. And the sad part is, some of us started to think like them. And this is exactly what the Prophet, peace and blessing be upon him, predicted 1400 years ago. شبراً شبراً you will follow. The steps of those before you, inch by inch, even if they enter into the hole of a lizard, you will follow them. The disciples said, do you mean the Christians and the Jews? And the Prophet answered, who else? We hope that Allah changes our situation for the better, especially our teenagers who really need to wake up and be proud of their heritage and their ummah. This was a part of our original video about al wala wal bara. I really recommend you watch the whole thing. You can find the link in the description. Thanks and salam alaikum.